you know that many people will be waving their paddles as well as their flags this weekend, and local agencies are gearing up to keep people safe on the water. AMR and the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office are increasing patrols around waterways to make sure that celebrations don't turn into rescue missions. Fox 12's Carly Olson went out to the Clackamas Park where some people were out enjoying the sunshine as it remains comfortable for today. On Wednesday, temperatures only got up to around 80 degrees here in Oregon City, but of course that's expected to change over the next several days. And before the rivers get packed, AMR and the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office wants to prepare the public so they can enjoy the waterways while staying safe. Definitely enjoying that sunshine. Anna Kendig visited the Willamette River with her daughter on Wednesday. <laughs> Good job. A pastime brought on by the heat and by tradition. We're um, part native, so water is uh, very important to us culturally and traditionally. As an Oregonian, I am very thankful <laughs> for this sun. She'll join the crowds expected to get in the water during the 4th of July and the weekend heat wave. I'm seeing a big uptick in rentals and classes and tours right now. A surge that Alder Creek kayak and canoe is already starting to observe for some outdoor enthusiasts, but for others... But we've also had some people concerned about the heat and canceling or, or changing their reservations. Um, being mindful of their own personal needs. AMR is increasing its lifeguard presence at High Rocks and Glen Auto Parks from 2 to 4 over the next several days, preparing for some of those natural elements they know might catch people off guard. Even though it's going to be really hot outside, um, the water still is in you know 65 to 68 degrees right now. So one of the things when you jump into that is your body goes into like cold water shock. So you, all your muscles kind of tense up. And even if you are a really good swimmer, um, people are often find they're not really prepared for the water to be that cold. A few rules of thumb will prevent accidents and make their jobs easier. The biggest one, again, is life jackets. Um, come prepared with that. We have life jacket loaners set up at both parks. Be aware of, of your abilities and, you know, if you are drinking, don't go in the water. I know that sometimes it feels hot and stuffy, but if you have personal watercraft, find a life vest that fits you well, that's maybe more breathable, that you're more inclined to wear. Kendig always has her daughter in a life vest by the river, a weight off her mind while they enjoy the natural wonders they love. So if people want to come down, they totally should. It's, you know, free and fun for the kids, and you can work on your color a little bit. <laughs> The Multnomah County Sheriff's Office tells me they expect to increase their boat patrols up to three boats on the Willamette River during the 4th of July celebrations. They expect to maintain those levels of boat patrols throughout the heat wave and also add patrols on the Columbia River. Reporting in Oregon City, Carly Olson, Fox 12 Oregon.